the past paper questions, then uh, we go back to these questions. Type here, guys. Uh, figure five point one: a stretched uh, a string stretched between two fixed points P and Q. Right, P and Q, as you see here. Uh, a vibrator. is attached near uh, and p uh, of the string and the q is fixed to the wall the vibrator has frequency of 50 hertz and causes transverse wave to travel along the string at speed 40 meters per second we are asked to find the wavelength that's easy wavelength equals velocity over frequency velocity is 40 over 50. Hamza can you find the answer please Point eight. Point, eight, sir. point eight meters. Okay. Point eight what meters? So and this is this will be part of the question because now the question uh, we will use this value. We will use what this value to find something else. It's easy stuff here, guys. Uh, now explain how this arrangement may produce a stationary wave on the string. Guys, this question is frequently repeated yeah, in the, this context of the question, right? Look here. Sorry. Here. A, a vibrator. Right. Uh, produces Uh, progressive or progressive waves progressive waves that travel along the string then they reflected And they are reflected from, don't forget this, uh, from Q. Guys, this is an important point. We have to mention it. Reflected uh, from Q. Okay. Uh, and moving in the opposite direction. of outgoing waves so they interfere okay so they interfere with outgoing waves Any question about that, guys? Here, the uh, hello, uh, you know, uh, reflected, uh, moving in opposite direction, interfere. This is a, a, a very important part. We have to mention them. And we have to mention that uh, these waves um, uh, interfere, right? These waves interfere or in outgoing waves. They focus on high points. اللي هي moving in the opposite direction هاي يعني بحطوا uh, دائما عليها علامة أو بتكون underlined or something like this uh, بس هي yeah. ال main point صراحة بهذا ال question هي إنه reflected from Q you have to mention this okay إنه uh, إنه طبعا أكيد we have to mention that the waves uh, produced أو إنه the vibrator produced progressive waves هدول progressive waves عند Q reflected بعدين أهم part اللي هو نكتب هون interfere اللي هي يعني هاي first one this is the second one هلا moving in the opposite direction إذا بكون عادة عليه three marks بكون حاطين إيش إنه uh, mark على moving uh, in the opposite direction 
هلا ستيشنري ويف برودوسد اون بي كيو ات وان انستنت اوف تايم تي از شون اون فيجر 5.2 ايتش بوينت اون ذا سترينج از ات اتس ماكسيمم ديسبليسمنت اوكي هلا اون فيجر 5.2 5.2 ليبل اول ذا نودز وذ لتر ان اند اول انتي نودز وذ لتر اي هلا اكشلي هاي جايز هي بتبين ترى بروجريسيف بس هي مش بروجريسيف هي ايش؟ هي ستاندنج ويفز لانه هو قال لي انها ستاندنج ويفز هلا هاي نود ذس از نود ذس از نود ذس از نود اوكي انتي نود ذس از انتي نود ذس از انتي نود ذس از انتي نود طبعا جايز هذا هيك هيك السترينج بس انا بيسكلي هي بتكون هيك صح؟ طلعوا هيك انا بشوفها شفناها بالفيديو رايت right? هيك راح نشوفها بال يعني this is the uh, the pattern that I will uh, I will observe clear هذا سكرين شوت جايز البلاك وان هذا السكرين شوت if I got ايش سكرين شوت اوف هاي سبيد كاميرا طبعا by using ايش هاي سبيد كاميرا Any question about that, guys? طيب. Use your answer in A to calculate the length of the string. بسيط. طلع معي, please. طلع معي. Half wavelength. Uh, sorry, from node to node. I took the nodes, guys, because they are most obvious one. If I took um, uh, nodes, they are, uh, I can determine their positions very ish. Very uh, easy. Uh, the distance between two successive nodes half wavelength, half wavelength, half wavelength. So basically, length here is three over two wavelengths. Any question, guys? So three over two times point eight. Figure five point two. Draw the stationary waves. At time t plus five point uh, five plus mil, uh, t plus five milliseconds. Explain your answer. Okay, guys. If you remember, this is the time shift. This is guys what the time shift. In order, guys, to draw the wave, uh, I have to use again this pattern. I have to select any point. Along the string or the wave, then we have to follow this pattern. It will be something easy, which is maxima, maximum, zero, right? Minimum, zero, and so on. This will help us. So I have to find this uh, time shift. As a uh, fraction of the period, as a fraction of the period. So first of all, I have to find the period. The period is one over frequency, which is one over uh, the frequency is fifty. Zero point zero two seconds. تمام. طيب. خلينا هلا نقسم ال time shift as what we did before or previously over a period five milliseconds over zero point zero two a debit la hand but la quarter صح but la ash quarter guys and if I consider this point After quarter period, this point becomes here, so high but sir horn, high but sir horn. So, finally, the string is about to make a screenshot at certain specific time. Will be a straight line, it will be a straight line. Any question, guys? If you remember, if I compare this with this point, 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 this
يعني if I want to compare this مع progressive waves progressive waves after quarter cycle رح تكون هيك ال I have to draw it I want to show you the difference this is for what? for progressive wave يعني if I have a wave after quarter cycle this is the um, if I take screenshot uh, or if I take any um, snapshot for uh, for this wave after quarter period I will see it here or I will observe that the wave in this position or in this uh, position and shape okay this is the difference between what progressive waves and uh, standing waves uh, let's do another question قلنا في عنا outgoing waves صح؟ وعنا إيش؟ reflected waves they are moving in the opposite direction so they meet what uh, or interfere بس يا constructively يا destructively هم هون guys uh, same thing يعني هون بدنا نحكي إنه loud speaker uh, okay loud speaker Uh, produces sound waves they are reflected from the end of the tube okay uh, they they are moving in the opposite direction so they interfere they interfere okay guys and here again guys a uh, loudspeaker produces sound waves uh, that will be reflected we have to write this guys always that will be reflected from the closed end of the tube There we wrote that it, uh, these waves are reflected uh, from point Q. Here we have to write it as uh, they are uh, the outgoing waves and reflected waves. as what we mentioned before, are moving in the opposite direction directions so they interfere forming a standing wave, right? interfere forming a standing wave Opposite directions interfere, overlap, whatever, forming a standing or stationary waves. Okay, guys, any question about that? Okay, so this is a frequently high. If I want to distribution of the marks, guys, uh, here produces sound waves that will be reflected. Opposite direction has a mark, and here reflected from closed end. Opposite direction has a mark. Who interfere third mark? Okay, interfere what is the third mark? Any question, guys, here? Okay. Now, uh, what we are asked here, uh, one of the stationary waves that may be formed on the tube is represented. 
uh, describe the motion of air particles at the tube. Okay. Hello, at P, guys, no motion at all. At P, no motion at all because you know P and on a uh, node. So at nodes, guys, or at nodes, uh, there is no motion uh, for air molecules. At S, uh, it's moving uh, right and left. Right and left, not up and down, guys. Right and left. Listen. Guys, this is a uh, this is a graphical representation. This is a graphical what representation that shows here. You no, know, this is anti node and this is node. But basically, guys, if you remember, air molecules are longitudinal. Oh, uh, sound are longitudinal, so they are oscillating like this. Okay, they are oscillating like this so they are oscillating uh, right and left but the maximum displacement of this oscillation is where at s is that point clear guys now the speed of sound in the tube is 330 and the frequency of the waves from the loudspeaker uh, is 880 calculate the length of the tube okay guys pay attention to find the length of the tube again guys i have to show uh, uh oh, i have to find uh, uh, how many wavelengths how many wavelengths in this tube like what we did guys in the previous time if i consider this this is node and this is what node this is Anti node. This is the procedure that we will do every time. From node to node, this is half wavelength. From anti node to node, it's a quarter wavelength. Right? So the length of the tube here shows quarter wavelength plus half wavelength. Is that clear? So uh, this will be uh, three quarters of the wavelength. So in order to find the length, I have to find the wavelength. Wavelength equals speed over frequency. Speed is 330 for the sound. Frequency is 880. Dina, can you please find the answer? <laughs> uh, 3 over 8. For length, guys, 3 over 4 times 3 over 8. Guys, I mean, this is an important class because we are doing the past paper questions. Please, you have to pay attention with me and you have to ask me any question if there's something is not understood. Guys, yani, this is the, yani, this is the, uh, these things that you'll be asked frequently about them in the standing waves. Explain formation of standing waves, guys. Again, you have to write the same thing. Outgoing waves, reflected waves, moving in the opposite direction, right? Interfere. Here, but I have to uh, mention you know, at certain position, they meet in phase, so their displacement add up. At certain positions, they meet anti phase and their displacements uh, cancel out or high. Okay, any question, guys? But here I have to uh, add, I hear here I have to add, you know, um, uh, they meet in phase, forming uh, or their displacement add up, forming an anti node, and these things. Uh, next, uh, guys, we have several ways, and, and I may uh, use a, a tube like this, right? This tube has a scale here, don't forget. Here we have a scale. It's placed in uh, a water like this. Here we used a tuning fork. Come on, everything should be labeled, guys. Everything should be labeled. Uh, also, you can use also loudspeaker. Right, connected the frequency generator. Here there's a reflector. A microphone can be uh, moved, connected the uh, cathode ray oscilloscope, right? Cathode ray oscilloscope. 
or in this way طبعا here انا i may write, i may draw a ruler or i have to label this by a ruler okay i have to label this by a ruler طبعا tuning fork also i have to label everything this is what tuning fork water okay and this is tough uh, okay طبعاً we are asked to uh, طبعاً you have to write uh, hi then describe the experiment here uh, we have to move to move the tube up and down until right we got a louder sound at this at this position guys uh, i have to at this position we have to measure the length until get uh, the first louder sound guys first harmonic here in wavelength you have to mention that it, it will be 4l right to find the wavelength i have to uh, use this formula 4l clear he allowed us behind if you if you remember uh, he was moving the tube up and down until he got a uh, certain certain position uh, the loudest one but then be the loudest he one. has to repeat this to find what is the average any anyway, i may write this repeat this ah, okay. until uh, i'll repeat this uh, and find the average of this position and find the average Okay, guys, and find what the average. So, but but you have to mention this also. You have to mention this. Uh, here, pay attention to this, guys. Pay attention. Here, there is an intensity versus displacement. Intensity versus displacement. Pay attention, guys. This is not displacement versus distance. It's intensity versus displacement. On axis six, figure 6.1, indicate the position of all nodes and antinodes. Talamai had position antinode. This is what? Node. This is what? Node. This is antinode and so on. This is node. Guys, at nodes, uh, the position or the intensity is zero. At antinodes, right, the intensity is uh, maximum, right? Because here they interfere destructively at nodes, at anti nodes uh, they inf interfere constructively. The speed in sound determines the frequency uh, of the sound. Hello, guys, to determine the frequency, I have to find the wavelength. I have to find what? The wavelength. Guys, if I determined, Talahan, a common mistake, if I determined that these are anti nodes, the uh, Separation between anti nodes is half wavelength. High stationary waves. Tamam is half wavelength. Halal student, what is the main mistake here? And the student in the progressive wave, uh, uh, distance from crest to crest is wavelength. So they, uh, some of the students do this mistake, or did this mistake, you know, they consider the distance between crest and the crest as a wavelength here are here guys we are not dealing with progressive waves they are the de uh, we are dealing with as uh, stationary waves so we have to determine always to determine the wavelength we have to determine uh, is this position node or anti node so the distance between two successive anti node is half wavelength not wavelength is that clear is the common mistake clear guys so here I can consider it as I think 30 here, wavelength 30 from the graph. Okay. So the frequency equals 340 over what? 
30. 340 over 30. Okay? Any question? طبعاً I have to check this بس عشان معيش وقت كتير لأنه لا we have uh, to uh, you have to leave the class بس check this guys okay إنه is it 30 exactly ولا لا okay يعني ممكن تكون أكتر أو أقل شوي anyway from the graph you have to check this quick stuff regularly guys you will be asked about um, uh, how the uh, station stationary wave or standing waves uh, stationary waves will be produced always we have to mention that we we have outgoing waves reflected waves right from the wall from the position that this way these waves will be reflected uh, you have to mention that they um, they interfere or they move at the opposite direction as what we mentioned what before they interfere and they move at, in the opposite direction so they interfere and if you're asked about uh, uh, or if you are asked to, to write this in terms of the principle of superposition you have to mention that uh, if they are interfered constructively so their displacement add up they uh, interfere destructively so their displacement uh, cancel out hello um well now on the procedure guys you know i have to use uh, if i use this setup uh, i i showed you uh, two setups here here hatta even we uh, we watched video about using tuning fork in order to measure the speed of uh, sound we bring a tuning fork. This tuning fork is uh, striked by a rubber bunch. But then we have to move this tube right up and down until we get a lo first louder sound. Then we can find the, uh, the wavelength of this one using 4L because this is a closed end tube. So uh, if I, uh, when I hear the first sound, Louder sound, this means that we are considering um, the first harmonic. 
we are given intensity intensity not displacement here this is what intensity versus distance okay uh, at the point where the intensity is very large okay or the maximum intensity this is anti node here Here, this, these are anti nodes where intensity is minimum. These are nodes, and so on. We are asked to determine the frequency. It's easy. In order to determine the frequency, I have to determine the wavelength. If I consider the distance between two successive anti nodes, this distance is half wavelength. And pay attention, guys, it might be looked like progressive waves. These points might ish might be looked as crests, and as what we learned before, the distance between two successive crests is lambda. This is in progressive waves. You guys, pay attention. This is in progressive waves, and I told you that, guys. This is a very or this is a common mistake that the student may do. They thought that this the distance between. Uh, uh, these anti nodes uh, is wavelength. It's not a wavelength. It's half wavelength. So half wavelength equal thirty four. I found thirty four from the graph. Then uh, here another question. State uh, the superposition principle. Right. You know these things. We did that this, this part before. We have to write when the waves meet or overlap this is the first mark the second mark their uh, displacement are added or are added oh uh, let me write it on like how we answered before no the resultant wave displacement is this is the vector sum of صح? the resultant wave displacement la ilaha illa anta subhanak inni kuntu minadh-dhalin the resultant wave displacement is a vector sum of their displacements at each position here guys another experiment if you remember to investigate the standing waves here we have outgoing source or oh, uh, sorry loudspeaker microphone and what a reflector if i uh, consider this explain how sound waves from l give rise to stationary wave between l and s you know this we discussed that before you know these outgoing waves and reflected waves meet overlap Something like this. In order, guys, to produce the, these are the conditions that we discussed about the stationary waves, these waves, the outgoing waves, and reflected waves must meet and uh, have uh, same amplitude and same what frequency. If I, if I, uh, or if these, if the outgoing waves and reflected waves satisfy these three conditions, meet same amplitude, same frequency. We may add also same type, definitely same type. So a stationary wave uh, or standing wave can be uh, formed here. Atani uh, here, cathode ray oscilloscope uh, is positioned between L and S as shown in figure 6.1. The trace obtained on the CRO is shown in figure uh, 6.2. Atani time base, by the way. Atani ash, time base sitting which is 10 millisecond first of all guys in order to find the frequency i have to find the period
To find this period, guys, I have to use uh, this rule that I gave it to you before. I have to consider peak to peak distance. I have to multiply this peak to peak distance with uh, time base according to the given scale on uh, the screen. Here, the uh, peak or peak to peak distance is four centimeters. Time base is 0 0.1 times 10 to the power negative 3 times 10 to the power what? Negative 3. Why 10 to the power negative 3? Because the time base here, guys, if you see here, this is the time base. It's 0 0.10 milli. It should be converted to negative 3 seconds. Okay, so I multiply it by 4, so I got the period which is 0 0.4. Then I can find the frequency by dividing 1 over the period, which is 2500 hertz. Okay. Now guys, pay attention to this point. Uh, a microphone, guys. Yani, exactly. We know that the outgoing will reflected when they meet. Sah, exactly. Like I said earlier, constructively or when they interfere constructively, they produce ash a minima. Uh, when they feel, when they interfere destructively, they produce what? Uh, yes. So, then this one. هلا مش ال مش النود هو مش مينيموم والنود اللي بكون على البيس لاين صح؟ كيف يعني على البيس لاين؟ يعني على السترينج نفسه يعني ما بتكون انه تحت السترينج لما تعمل انه هي ليش احنا مينيموم؟ مينيموم لانه it does not oscillate اوكي يعني آه أوكي. يعني الديسبلايسمنت تبعتها صغيرة ما بتتغير الديسبلايسمنت ايش؟ يس صغير. اوكي اذا اتفقنا هون ماكسيمم امبليتيود صح از ديتكتد when the microphone is at the position uh, of the node, uh, sorry, anti-node, with minimum amplitude. is detected at the position of node. Sorry. Yes, sir. Uh, ready. Here we are asked to calculate the speed of sound. Tala my guys. Pay attention to this point. It varies from maxima, minima, then back to maxima. Okay, maxima, minima, then maxima. Hey. What does this mean, guys? Again, at the final maxima anti node, minima node, anti node. Fairly, and we have a distance, or we are given a distance between two successive anti nodes. High distance 6.7, it's what? It's half lambda, right? Because the distance between two successive anti nodes is half lambda. Guys, as what you mentioned before in the previous time, before doing any calculation or anything else, I have to determine the positions of anti nodes and nodes. So to find the speed, I have to multiply frequency by the wavelength. 
the uh, half of the wavelength is 6.7, so the wavelength is 13.2. I have to convert it to meter. Then I multiply the frequency that I got in the previous part of this question with the wavelength. I would get that the speed is 330. This is the way how can we use standing waves to measure the uh, speed of sound. <coughs> Here, guys, you might be asked to uh, set up this experiment, okay? Or to use this, uh, the idea of this question uh, to set up the experiment to measure the speed of sound. Right, to measure ash, the speed of sound. Uh, this is an important question. We did the first part of this question before, by the way. The progress of waves traveling uh, along a stretched string from left to right. Um, the shape of part of the string at particular instant is shown in figure 6.1. We are asked to find uh, the amplitude. I think it's 7.8 amplitude, right? Hang on. This is six, this is eight. Every uh, every subdivision here is 0 0.4. 6.4, 6 6.8, 7.2, 7.8. So here amplitude 7.8 millimeter. We are asking the phase difference between points P and Q. Guys, pay attention, high progressive waves. The progressive waves, how do find uh, how do we find the um, phase difference? We have to the shift at day. We have to the point. Point Q is here. This shift. هذا الشيفت إذا متذكرين كنا نسميه X يعني هون الفيز شيفت الفيز ديفرنس كانت X over lambda times 360 ال X قديش حكينا 20 lambda 80 I think صح؟ اه هي 80 times 360 لا الشيفت 40 سوري استاذ الاكس 40 يس استاذ الاكس 40 اه فهذا بيطلع 180 ديجري بده السبيد اوف ذا ويف سهله لانه انا عندي الفريكونسي وهون عندي الويف لينث الويف لينث 80 سنتيمتر والفريكونسي 15 هرتز شو بيطلع معي السبيد بيطلع معي ايش؟ سبيد طيب هذا البارت احنا وي ديد ات اولسو حكى لي ذا بيريود اوف فايبريشن اوف ذا ويف از تي ذا ويف موفز فورورد فروم بوزيشن شون ان فيجر فور تايم بوينت تو 25 تي اون فيجر 6.1 سكتش ذا نيو بوزيشن اوف ذا ويف هاو وي ويل فايند الفيز او هاو وي ويل درو الفيز ديفرنس أو الشيء ال ال wave pattern after quarter period in progressive wave أو progressive waves after quarter period in standing waves. How how we did this guys? هلا تفانا إنه this is the shift. This is the time, right? Shift. If you remember. So. Uh, the time shift over the period equals the position shift over lambda. When the shift would be the same. So 0.25 T shift over T equals X that we are looking for in order to draw the new wave over a wavelength, which is uh, 80. If I calculate this, X will be 20. If you remember, how did we clarify this point? 
Guys, this means that each point along the wave is shifted by 20 cm. This is the technique of drawing a second wave. Yani, we, let's consider these points that, uh, that I'm highlighting now. Crest, crest, troughs, and uh, zero. This point, guys, is shifted by 20, so it will be here. This point is shifted by 20, so it will be here. Sah? This point is shifted by 20 here. This point is shifted by 20. It comes here. This point is shifted by 20, so it becomes at 100. This point is shifted by 20, it becomes 120. Oh, I, I I plotted all the points I, and I will connect the points like this. This is the shape of the wave where I have to also plot it for you. This is guys, this is the uh, wave after quarter period. Oh, this is the shape of the wave after quarter period, and you can go back to the videos. You will find all these things in detail. Let's see, another stretch string uh, is used to form stationary waves. Another string is used to uh, form stationary wave. Part of this wave at a particular instant is shown in figure. Now. The points on the string are at their maximum displacement. State the phase difference between the labeled point X and W. Any two points between the nodes, between two successive nodes, the phase difference between them is zero. Yani, I use this formula. Oh, which formula, sorry, rule. M pi to find the phase difference. So, now. If I want to find the phase difference between any two points along a stationary wave, I have to find how many nodes between these points. Between X and W, how many nodes? There is no any node between uh, these points. Basically, is M0. So how did you 0 pi? And you basically here H, it's 0 degree. It's a uh, zero degree, okay? Then the following Answer. terms used to describe stationary waves on a string. At, at node, the uh, amplitude is zero, while at anti-node, the amplitude of the standing wave is maximum. Take the number of anti-nodes shown here. Three anti-nodes. We are asked to draw uh, the shape of the wave after ish, after quarter period. صح? Uh, in standing waves, guys, the shift in time will be vertically, roughly speaking, will be vertical. With progressive wave, or with progressive waves, the time shift will be horizontal. And this is just roughly speaking, okay? Any question about that, guys? Yani, uh, had a concept that we're talking about. If it's maximum, after the quarter period, it's zero. Another quarter period, it's minimum. Another quarter period zero and so on. Right here, after quarter period, any ma any the the, the uh, consider one point, guys. If I consider here one point, Let's consider high point. After quarter period, high point it becomes here. High point it becomes here. And a string high point 
after quarter period becomes here. For had the possible uh, strength, right? This is the uh, the. Then if I take a screenshot after quarter period, the string uh, will be observed as horizontal line. هلا بس انا اي وونت تو شو يو الديفرنس جايز طلع هون بعد كوارتر بيريد يعني كان هيك بعدين صار هيك هذا افتر كوارتر بيريد ذيس از وات از جوين اون فروم ذيس شيب ات بيكمز اش هوريزونتال هير افتر كوارتر بيريد فور بروجريسيف ويفز ذا ويف از شيفتد خلينا نقول رفلي سبيكينج هوريزونتال تو ذا رايت اور تو ذا ليفت Any question about that, guys? Okay. Here, state two features of stationary wave that uh, that uh, distinguished uh, that distinguished it from progressive. Hello. Uh, what what are the things that or the features that the stationary wave is distinguished than or distinguished from progressive wave? Do not have the same amplitude, but in a progressive wave, guys, in a progressive wave, uh, all the particles have the same amplitude. Who um, uh, the particles that are between two successive nodes. Two successive nodes oscillate in phase. Okay. Right. Here, uh, this is another way to distinguish or to make an investigation for the standing waves. We have a loudspeaker placed at one end. Here we have a piston. Guys, this is very similar to the uh, experiment that we did using a uh, water or resonance tube using a tube and water. Here, guys, I have to move the distance towards the loudspeaker or away from the loudspeaker until we get a louder sound. If I got a louder sound, guys, this means this means that the resonance is taking place. Inside the tube, uh, consequently, guys, um, uh, standing uh, waves, uh, or sorry, uh, standing waves are found. Loudspeaker produces this frequency. The piston is moved along the tube. A loud sound. This means that a resonance is taking place when the distance between the position and open end is 45. The speed of the sound of the tube is 330. Show that the wavelength of the sound is 60 centimeters. Wavelength equals h velocity over frequency. Velocity is 330. Frequency is 550. Debit line wavelength must be h 60. On figure 4.1, mark all the position of uh, along the tube, nodes or anti nodes. Come on here, guys. Pay attention below. Here we have to focus on one thing, guys. You know which harmonic, one, in order to draw the wave, or in order to, to mark all the positions along the tube that show uh, nodes or anti nodes, I have to determine ish, the order of the harmonic. And is it first? Is it third? Is it uh, fifth? So, and this is a closed end, guys. So, this is what? Closed. And in a closed end, guys, we can observe only what odd harmonics. So first of all, guys, I have to determine the order of this harmonic. According to the formula, lambda equals 4L over N. 
uh, we are given uh, the length, which is 45. Hey, you. We are given a wavelength. I can't find n. The wavelength is 60 equals 4 times uh, 45 over n. Uh, n equals 3. So this is a, a third harmonic. So if you remember, guys, a third harmonic has two, anti, uh, two nodes, one here, one here. So and guys, in order to, uh, uh, or just to remind you, here, guys, the wavelength is three quarters of lambda, uh, sorry, length here, length, three quarters of lambda. Pay attention, guys, because this is an important point. Three quarters of lambda, and I have to divide this length to e to uh, three quarters. Are they equal? And hatta even if you use a ruler, it would be better. Guys, pay attention to this. Since this is our, since we deduce from the given data that. Um, uh, this is a third harmonic, the length will be three quarters of lambda. طبعًا, you know that here we have anti-node, here we must have node. So the, the best way to draw the wave, to use the concept of quarters uh, wavelengths. So here I have to divide this region to three, uh, uh, to three quarters. One, and I may use a ruler to show you this. The length here, one, two, three, four, five, six, six over three, but then two, sorry, two, two centimeters. One, this is the first point, and this is the second point. And here, guys, uh, node, here, this is the position of anti-node. This is the position of node. This is the position of anti-node. Pay attention, guys. Again, guys, I divided this, this length. To three equal parts. Equal part equivalent la quarter period, or quarter wavelength. I mean node to anti node, mean node to anti node, from node where to anti node. Is that clear? And if I if we ask to uh, if you are asked to draw the uh, the wave, it will be like this. This way. Okay, guys. This is an important point. You have to take it into consideration. Uh, the frequency of sound produced in loudspeaker is gradually reduced. Determine the lowest frequency at which a loud sound will be produced in the tube uh, of length L45. Guys, uh, the frequency here, we have to know that this frequency is the third harmonic. صح? Frequency produced by the loudspeaker is gradually reduced. Okay, gradually is reduced. Hala, 550 had, right, 550. Uh, third harmonic, صح? يعني ال L. هلا هذا for for first harmonic صح five صح over one أنتوا عارفين ليه I divided by one لأنه هذا أعطاني third harmonic lowest 
بيكون فيرست هارمونيك صح؟ الفيرست هارمونيك ان فور فيرست هارمونيك از 1 سو اي سبستيوتد هير 1 4 تايمز 45 قلنا 90 180 صح؟ يعني لامدا از 180 سنتيمتر then I can find the frequency using uh, velocity over wavelength, velocity 330 over 1.8. صح? Because this must be converted to meters. 1.8. بطلع معاكم ايش? The frequency. بطلع معانا قد ايه? The frequency. جايز اخر شيء بس خليكم معي عشان افهم هذا يعني احنا خلينا اللينكس زي ما هو بس كانه غيرنا الفريكونسي تاع السورس يعني هير اي ديد نوت فاري ذا لينكس هير هيك معي علامه هير اي ديد نوت فاري ذا لينكس اي فاريد هير ايش فريكونسي اوف ذا لاود سبيكر انتل اي جوت وات ا لاودر ساوند فهذا اللاودر ساوند راح يكون ايش؟ بدال الثيرد هارمونيك اللي موجود هون اللي ذات وي فاوند ان ذا بريفيوس بارت، ات ويل بي ايش؟ ذا فيرست هارمونيك. اوكي جايز؟ اني كويستشن اباوت ذات؟ لوك تو ذيس كويستشن. لايت ريفليكتد فروم ذا سيرف ذا سيرفيس اوف سموث ووتر ماي بي ديسكرايبد از ا بولارايزد Transverse wave. What is meant by transverse wave? Okay, polarization. It's cancelled, right? Well, uh, what is meant by polarization? It's cancelled by transverse wave. You know that you have to write that the displacement. Of. Um, displacement of the oscillating particles. is perpendicular to the direction of travel okay look to this question here we are given a, a glass tube closed at one end it has a fine dust sprinkled along the its length a sound source is placed near Uh, the open end uh, of the tube as shown in figure 5.1. The frequency of the sound emitted by the source is varied. Um, sound source emitted by the source is varied um, and at one frequency the dust form all um, heaps in the tube like this. Explained by the reference to the properties Of stationary waves, why heaps of the dust are formed? Who can explain this? dust inside. Did you see it? Other mm -hmm. dust as a result of forming the standing waves, right? Okay, at one frequency and at uh, one of the harmonic frequencies, the dust forms a smallish uh, heaps in the tube. They by reference. To the properties of stationary waves, why the heap of dust are formed? Any dehik dehik sar. We find the sound waves. Any basically the air inside the tube are moving or oscillating. But definitely the dust must oscillate. Right. Let me show you this. This is um, an example of. The Kuntz tube apparatus that we use in our acoustics labs, and it's an improvement over what we used to use. And what a Kuntz tube is is simply a resonance tube with some dust in it. And if you drive a standing wave at a given frequency, the dust will hop up. It will reveal where your wave antinodes are, and from that you can visually measure what the wavelength is and the speed of sound and air. If you use the relationship between a wave's frequency, its wavelength. And its speed. So, uh, what we have here is a, is a signal generator. 
uh, with this driving speaker here. I can set it to whatever I like. Right now, I have it set to 1600 hertz. We find this lab works well in a range between 1000 and 2000 hertz. Uh, what, what we want is we want people to see that when you drive um, the, the dust in here, there will be several spots where the dust hops up more than others. And uh, in our experiment, what we do is we have uh, students vary the frequency and measure how the separation between the antinodes changes as you go. But just for this video, I can demonstrate how, um, how it looks for one particular frequency. So for 1600 hertz, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it up. You can hear the sound there. And within the tube, what you can do is you can locate the spaces where the dust is hopping up a lot. So there's one here, and here, and here, and here, and so forth. Actually, even after this is turned off, you can still see evidence of where that action happened. So uh, just for, I mean, just for just for one quick visual sake, you can notice uh, there there are spots right here. There's a spot right here where the dust danced a lot, and here where it danced a lot. And if you were to measure exactly with a ruler how far apart those are, that would give you the size of a half of a wavelength. So you could easily extrapolate a full wavelength from that. If you multiply that wavelength by the 1600 hertz frequency, you can come up with a quick estimate of the speed of sound. And that's what this tube is for. Now, basically, here, guys, as a, res as a result of standing waves, uh, our standing, wave that, our, uh, standing waves that will be formed in uh, this tube, at the position where the dust, at the position where the dust is accumulated, so I'm shaking on the shaking on the positions horn. Is it anti-node or node? It's at the node, guys. Absolutely. I'll come next. Then horn at these positions, no oscillation. Since at this position, position, guys, no oscillation, the dust is accumulated as what you see here. Is that point clear? Horn, guys, I will not see any accumulation of the dust here, this position, because the dust here oscillating. At nodes, guys, uh, uh, there is no oscillation of the air Muzbuf. molecules or dust, let's say. If there is no oscillation, the dust will be accumulated like this. Like what did you see here? So basically here, guys, in, in, in these uh, positions, or at these positions, they accumulate, uh, forming this, okay, they accumulate, forming, um, this is part uh, B1, B1, okay, guys, at the position of heaps, um,
Okay. This is part one. Uh, one frequency at which uh, heaps are formed is 2.4. The distance between six heaps as shown. Calculate the speed of sound. Uh, as what we watched in the video, guys, this way also can be used to measure the speed of sound. Uh, so in order to measure the speed of sound, we need what? Frequency and wavelength. We need frequency and wavelength. Speed equals frequency. Uh, wavelength times frequency. Frequency is given. Or found the frequency by uh, from the loudspeaker. And here, guys, between uh, six heaps, pay attention here. And we are given a distance between uh, six successive nodes, right? The fan and had the position, the position of the node here. Uh, this is half wavelength. This is another half wavelength. This is another half wavelength, right? This is another half wavelength and another half wavelength. Okay. So the distance here, 39 centimeters, uh, would be equivalent to one, two, three, four, five halves, right? Five ish halves of the wavelength. And five times half wavelength equivalent to 39 centimeters. So lambda equals 39 times uh, 2 over 5. Okay, who has calculator? Please do it. 0.6 centimeters. If I want to find the um. speed of sound, now uh, I have to multiply frequency by this wavelength. It's a frequency 2.13 kilohertz, don't forget, times what? 15.6 uh, times 10 to the power minus 2 in order to convert it to meters. So the speed becomes, or the, sorry, the result is 334 meters per second. As what I mentioned before, guys, before carrying out any experiment, related or before carrying out any calculation or doing any calculation uh, that is related to the standing wave, we have to find the distance between the successive nodes. And this distance, guys, will show you uh, or will be equivalent to the half lambda. Will be equivalent to half lambda. Any question about that, guys? Is it clear? Right. Last thing, guys, um, in this question, uh, uh, the wave in the tube is a stationary wave. Explain by the reference of the formation of the stationary wave what is meant by the speed that is uh, calculated. Okay. Well, guys, again, alama. Uh, Oh, Alam, can you explain for us uh, uh, how will a uh, stationary uh, wave uh, be formed? Uh, a stationary wave is formed in this tube. Explain this uh, by reference to the formation of stationary wave. Yani, uh, how will stationary wave uh, be formed? And keep it going high stationary wave. كنا مرة ماضي وسألتك نفس السؤال مش عارف استوصل لا يا علامة كم شو مالكم سألنا مبارح وسألنا وجبناك يا مرتين وقلنا لك هي الانسر هون والانسر هون قولي كيف standing waves will be formed يعني كيف ما هو لسه ما درست شو السؤال ما حفظتش الجواب لاش حدا يدرس والله العظيم صرت حكيها ألف مرة حمزة اه استاذ Explain for us, guys, Hamza, the formation of stationary wave. I'm not sure, but I think that the outgoing waves meet with the reflected waves. Outgoing waves meet reflected waves or interfere, right? Yeah, constructively, yeah, destructively, something like this, and so on. What's the name? Um, um, it's formed as a result
of interference between outgoing waves and reflected waves from the closed end that are moving in the opposite direction on the high dimension huh? guys the standing waves is formed if and only if and this we discussed that uh, in the conditions um, of the standing waves like what him and said you know uh, they have the same speed right they have they must have the same ish speed and amplitude So and guys, the value of the speed that we found, it's the progressive or the speed of progressive sound, uh, progressive waves that form, right? That form what? The standing waves. We have to write this because we are asked about this. What is meant by the speed calculated in B2 uh, of interference between progressive? Let me write this progressive outgoing waves and progressive don't forget to write this guys reflected ash waves from closed end that are moving in the opposite direction where the speed that where the speed calculated is Okay, guys, where the speed calculated uh, is the speed of, of the progressive waves that form the standing waves. And high speed, we have to the speed of the outgoing or reflected waves. Okay, the outgoing or the reflected waves. Uh, guys, because um, as what we mentioned before, the standing waves, the disturbance does not travel. And here we may have a misconception. <coughs> you know, the disturbance is not a traveling. You are asked, uh, you are asked us to uh, and you are asked, uh, you are asked us to uh, uh, find the speed of the waves. Okay, so basically the, the, the speed of the waves that uh, is calculated here, it's for progressive waves that form the standing waves. Here, or in this topic, all in all, state the conditions were uh, required for, uh, to the for formation of stationary wave. Uh, waves, the outgoing waves or reflected waves must meet. They must have the same frequency and amplitude in order to have a stationary wave pattern. Stationary wave pattern. Here, the sound from loudspeaker is detected by the microphone uh, that is connected to cathode ray oscilloscope. Shows uh, on the um, on the screen the cathode ray oscilloscope. Uh, in air, the sound wave has speed three, 330 and wavelength 0.18. Calculate what? The frequency. It's easy stuff over the wavelength, right? Speed over wavelength, 330 over 0.18. It will be? So only, so only. I found it. One, 1830 hertz. This is the frequency. Now, what we are asked to find now, Talal Jason, it's we are asked to find the time base. Okay, we are asked to find what? The time base. In order to find the time base, I have to find the period. Period is what?
right? If you remember. Uh, in order to find the time base, I have to use this rule. And the period is equivalent peak to peak distance times the time base. First of all, I have to find the period. I have to find what? The period. Period is 1 over frequency. 1 over 1,833. Okay. Now, this is the period. 5.45 times 10 to the power negative 4. Peak to peak distance can be found from the graph. Just a second. This one. So. This is the peak to peak distance, right? This is peak to peak distance. Here we are given in no H5 squares here shows one centimeter. So high, high scale. And here one, two, three, four, five, high one. And I think one, two, three. And the Bushkin and Ashan Al screen. I think 5.5 is a hex of 5.5. Anyway, it may, in the past paper, guys, oh, in the external, this um, uh, the grid here or uh, will be very clear, yani, or mm -hmm. divided uh, to five uh, squares, uh, but it's easy to, to count. That's so let's say. 5.5 times the time base, we can find the time base. Time base, I hit Lamana one, so approximately one. Uh, 0 0.909 by 10 to the power of negative yeah. five. Yes, yes, no, it's same thing. Type. The intensity of the sound from the loudspeaker is now halved. The wavelength of the sound is unchanged. Assume that the amplitude of the trace is proportional to the amplitude of the sound bus. Uh, sketch the new uh, trace. So guys, if you remember, I2 over I1 equals A2 over A1 squared. This is from the previous uh, section or the first section we discussed before. So here the new intensity is half of the first of the initial intensity. The amplitude here, um, I can find it from this to this. And it is length the double amplitude. Mazboot? Okay, Jason? Yes, yes. This is double amplitude, and I will find it and divide it by two. So, it's خلص حسبها six كاملة minus ثلاثة four. Twenty four. يعني هي آه بالضبط. يعني هي يعني هذا هو equilibrium position. Okay, had who ash equilibrium position? Position. Fine. Uh, Horn, what I have to do, um, I2 is half I1, substitute over I1 equals the amplitude. Uh, 
احنا we want to ask A2 uh, sorry we want to find A2 و A1 اتفقنا 12 صح؟ squared <coughs> I want cancel out. So if I make a square root for both sides, so you know, eight point four. Ah, uh, eight point four. Mm -hmm. So second, second amplitude eight, تقريبا eight point four. I have to re, uh, I have to draw the wave. At the same wavelength. تمام. معناته بس ال height تاع ال peak راح يتغير. يعني هذا البيك هون الهايت عنده 12 تمام this height is 12 here uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 عرفت شو عملت انا بس غيرت الهايت تاع البيك هون same thing And I will keep uh, the wavelength as is. يعني they should meet with equilibrium position, صح؟ أيوة بالضبط. حلوي. Okay. طيب. Uh, last part here. It's an easy برضو. Here uh, we are given a, a tube. This tube consists of water. This water can be, or uh, this funnel closed by uh, using a tape here, or tab here. Sorry. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, هلا بقول لك انه اول ساوند هير يعني هير هي اوبن ذا تاب وبعدين بلش ينزل الووتر فاول ساوند سمعوا عند الليفل A ثاني ساوند سمعوا وين عند ليفل B طبعا عند ليفل A هذا الفيرست هارمونيك صح وعند ليفل B هو الثيرد هارمونيك مش السكند ثيرد ثواني آه ايش الساوند ايش الساوند اللي سمعوه ما فهمت قصه الساوند هلا مش بصير في تذكر الفيديو اللي حضرناه باليوتيوب كان يحرك اليوتيوب اب اند داون لما يصير الساوند لاود. اها. فاول ساوند بسمعه عند اي وثاني ساوند بسمعه عند بي. طيب معلش خلص بنكملوا هذا نكست تايم لانه عندي هلا كمان كلاس بلاش اتاخر عليه كمان. تمام. بضل عندنا بس هذا البارت والراديو اكتيفيتي يعني نبدا في 5 minutes بضل علينا والبارت اللي بعديه راديو اكتيفيتي. إن شاء الله باي كلاس أو تومورو كلاس أو ساتردي إن شاء الله بنكون خلصنا المادة، أوكي؟ أوكي. يعطيكم العافية. سي. The loudspeaker guys in B uh, is held above vertical tube of liquid as shown in figure 4.2. A loudspeaker like this, liquid, and when I will start this, I will use this tab in order to reduce the amount of water. So the standing waves can be, or at the certain level of water, uh, uh, standing waves or stationary wave can be formed. A tab at the bottom of the tube is opened, so the liquid drains out constant rate. The wavelength of the sound from the loudspeaker, Apania, point 0.18. The sound that is heard first, Jen heard first. Heard first, and had the first harmonic, تمام. When the liquid surface reaches level A, the next time the sound becomes much louder. When the liquid surface level H2 has a third harmonic, guys. Because if you remember in closed tube, this is closed uh, uh, one-end tube, we will not have an even harmonics. We will have a, a odd harmonics only. Calculate the vertical distance between level A and level B. Here, guys, if you remember, in the wavelength right, of the sound wave equals 4L over N. Right for L over N. 
the wavelength for the sound is 0 0.18 equals 4L over 1 for first harmonic. For first harmonic. So let me call, let me uh, uh, call this as L1. Yani this is L1. This is L1. Ooh, ooh, this is what? L2, right? The second resonant length. Second resonant length. Tamam. So I have to find L1, I have to find L2 by the same way. And the second one, uh, 0 0.18 equals 4 L1 over 3 now. صح? 4 L1 over 3, this will give us H, the second resonant uh, length. But if I have, uh, sorry, this is L2. This is for H, third harmonic. Then I have to subtract them. Is that clear, guys? Uh, on figure uh, 4.3, label the, uh, the letter uh, N, the position of node and of the stationary wave that is formed in the air at liquid at B. Tafana, guys, in Nuhad, but after Ishihuan, I will actually come ashore. Hello. بالثيرد هارمونيك جايز بالثيرد هارمونيك ال2 لازم يكون كم 3 over 4 لامدا صح if you remember اول واحد بيكون كوارتر لامدا الثاني بيكون فيه 3 quarters of lambda 3 quarters of lambda قلنا i have to divide the, uh, this area او sorry this is given length ل 3 equal points يعني here and here, like this. Uh, this is the first one. First quarter, second quarter, third quarter. Okay? And the first, طبعاً هون أكيد في عنا anti-node عند the open end. And the closed end هون عنا node. هون رح يكون anti-node كل quarter cycle. بعدين هون إيش node. هون رح يكون عنا إيش anti-node. And if I want to draw the wave, I will draw it like this. Guys, again, like what we did in the previous time, we have to divide the area, or we have to determine uh, the length uh, 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 in the proportion of the wavelength. But then we show how many quarters do we have. This is the best way. You know, in the quarters, well, I divided this area here. I have three quarters. I divided this length, guys, this given length, to uh, three equal uh, parts at each at each quarter or at each point uh, uh, I have node or anti node according to the pattern the liquid leaving uh, uh, okay had a time okay had a related uh, mass entropy type Sham and some has um, chemistry taking from the last man standing waves guys tamam oh today inshallah we will talk about a bit of the lab about the commission had to do the meta تست تناسبكم احد يمكن يكون كويس حتى لو رمضان نعمله بعد الفطور ات اني تايم سويتبل فور ولا شو الاحد شو الاحد الاحد ها احنا كنا متفقين في الخميس بعيد كثير اه مش مش بكره الخميس اللي بعده يعني بيكون 30 4 30 4 اه الخميس اللي بعده 30 4 بالضبط بكره راح ابلش بكره راح ان شاء الله لا ريجي اكتيفيتي قصدي ريجي اكتيفيتي ان شاء الله حصه بكره والسبت بنخلصها ان شاء الله لا لا ما في سبت ما في سبت صح احد لا لا ما في سبت ما في سبت استاذ انا بدي اخلصكم بدري بس احد ايوه ما ما راح تفرق هيك مدومين الاحد بس مش مدومين السبت انا برايي الاحد عشان ناخذ يعني ساعه ساعه ونص نخلص الماده كلها عشان ما اضلكم شدام طيب اوكي احد 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 يعطيكم العافيه